and I'm pleased to speak in this debate to make clear again that the use of storm overflows is unacceptable and needs to end, which is why I supported the Environment Act and new powers to require water companies to tackle this issue and for Ofwat to act, including where water companies seek to pay dividends where their environmental performance is not good enough. Now, North West Norfolk is home to many precious chalk streams, and one of my first visits as an MP was to walk the River Nile in Castle Acre with the Norfolk Rivers Trust, where we looked at work to restore part of the river to get it back to the natural whips, depths and gradients. And as a member of the all-party chalk stream group, I've consistently highlighted the unacceptable use of storm overflows and the need to protect these rivers. But let's be candid about what ending the use of overflows would mean that some pretend is possible. It would mean sewage backing up into people's homes. Mm. Why don't Labour and the Liberal Democrats put that on their leaflets? Yeah. Why aren't they open with the public about the disgusting consequences yeah. of the proposals they put forward? Yeah, yeah, so rather than misleading claims, I'm interested in practical yeah. action to make a difference. Well, that starts with overflows. And looking at the motion, I wonder where Labour have been. We will have 100% of overflows monitored by the end of this year, with real-time data coming. When they were last in government, that figure was 7%. Then there are fines and prosecutions. Having looked at this area as a member of the Public Accounts Committee, I want to see the Environment Agency take far more robust action. All major water companies are under investigation for illegal sewers discharges, and regulators must use higher fines to focus the minds of chief executives and boards, which is why I support unlimited fines. The third element is investment. There's no cheap way to fix a Victorian system combining rainwater and wastewater. In my northwest Norfolk constituency, residents suffered sewage coming up through manhole covers and into their homes when there was severe flooding. By challenging Anglian Water, I got them to reline some of the sewer network because there was groundwater infiltration rather than just inundation of rainwater. And as a result, we will see improvements and hopefully won't see a re repetition. But we need to see major investment, and that's why the £56 billion is going to be required. And the motion calls for an impact assessment. Well, that's been done as required by the Environment Act, and the results aren't good for either party. Liberal Democrats pretend they can solve this problem overnight, but that's just wholly impractical. And Labour plan appears to involve spending £600 billion in seven years. As my constituents would say, what a load of squit. <laughs> Instead, the Conservative Party has the plan for 100% monitoring, yeah. requiring record investment and using penalties to tackle this problem. Now, water companies and regulators must be held to account to deliver real improvements <coughs> for our constituents. Yeah. 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 Yeah.